Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.9 Void Hive. Um, I've been thinking, so uh, it's 2347, endgame starts at 2350, and we have, we, we certainly have the fleet power to cause fallen empires to be more likely to awaken. Um, we've got three fallen empires, uh, two over there, one over here. Um, and uh, I don't actually know how much extra fleet they'll get if they awaken, right? I'm not, these two I'm not too worried about, right? Unless it were just a huge boost to their fleet. Um, it, it would need to like double for me to be worried about. This one is already kind of kind of close. So um, I, I'm thinking uh, maybe, so, and, and I think, uh, I was thinking, the, reading the, like the mean time to happen for one of them to awaken, and given the circumstance that we have and the number of empires we have, uh, I think it's like 25 years. So we'll probably see, whoa, I don't know what that was. Um, we'll probably see one fallen empire awaken before 2350. Uh, I didn't do the math on what like the mean time to happen on the Unbidden is, but I think we'll see them before 2350. Um, so it might be a, a exciting next 50 years or so. Uh, although, when the Unbidden pop, we should be able to just roll them. Uh, I'm not too worried about the Unbidden. Um, the Prethren, I think, if we can get to where they are pretty quickly, it shouldn't be too much problem. But uh, the Contingency are the ones I'm, I'm actually curious to see how they'll do. Especially given uh, that I've never fought them before. So, uh, and the, the, mul the multiplier that they'll get from being second or third crisis. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I think we might do a couple little things. I think, so we have these, we have all these vassals. Uh, yeah, they're just like protectorates, but um, can we make, get them into our defensive wars? Uh, we can. Um, and that'll cost us some loyalty. I think we might have to, that's, that's a fair bit of loyalty, actually. We'll have to go look at it on a case-by-case -case basis with what their current loyalty is. Um, but, you know, even if they each only have an extra 15k of fleet, if the Fallen Empire decides to come at us, uh, and we have like 10 vassals each with 15k, that's an extra 150k, right? That's an extra full-size battleship fleet that will probably just disintegrate, um, but might get some damage in, or, or might be a deterrent. Right. If we, uh, if if declaring on us would involve fighting an extra 150k, they might choose not to fight us. So, I think we'll work on uh, defensive or, or bringing our vassals in uh, to overlord conflicts where we can. Um, okay. So it's if it's going to be 0.8, right? I'm I'm fine doing it here because they have a bunch. Uh, we could increase their taxes more too, but I mean we do want them to keep growing, right? Um, We want them to be strong. Not as strong as us, but strong. Um, human Union 5.4, yeah, we can we can bring them in. Eight point four, absolutely. Okay, they already are. Interesting. Um, Seven point five, one point five. They already are. Yeah, okay, so some of these uh, more vessels than I expected. Um, are already, would already be pulled into defensive wars if we were fighting them. Oh, and I can, I can see it here even. Okay, yes, they, they are. Um, they are not. 6.3, yeah, we can do it. Circuins are not plus eight point two, yes. And we're we're about to start getting um custodian influence, so I'm not too worried about spending a bunch of influence. Oh I should, I forgot to check. Okay, yeah, five 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 point five, yes, fine. Five point two, okay, yeah, so we can do it with, with just everybody. Okay, um, that was a lot of influence. 
uh, and then hopefully it's worth it. Uh, or ho hopefully, it, like if if it works, if it's enough deterrent that it, we don't end up in a war, we, that we don't end up subject to a defensive war, um, we'll never really know that it was worth it, right? It, it's a, it's one of those funny things with deterrence is that it's hard to say if deterrence is worth it. Um, other stuff going on. Uh, I think maybe we do build a ring world here. Uh, I'm thinking that's my other thought with with a war with uh, these guys is that my the, the core of my economy is not very far from them um, and having having a fallback you know we're, we're starting to build the sector um, we could put we have the matter decompressor back here uh, we could put the second Dyson and another ring world back here and that could be uh, a nice insurance policy but not a priority um, the other thing we talked about was squeezing all of our excess, uh, like, well, I was thinking maintenance drones, but we're, we have plenty of amenities here. Um, but still, squeezing maintenance drones out into the ring world. <laughs> 21 maintenance drones, uh, 82 excess amenities. Yeah, that's that's not where we want to be. Um, I moved. 105 pops on a habitat is not bad. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's it's a lot, but uh, it's it's kind of it's neat seeing these kind of numbers on habitats, even if they're um, like here we still have a little more room to grow. Uh, And that is maybe uh, worth thinking about as well is um, not not squeezing out stuff from mining habs too hard because we may want to yeah if we squeeze another you know hundred pops into a ring world uh, doing jobs that consume minerals um, well okay we'll still be fine for a while. Okay, new pran. Don't go to new pran. Oh wait, wait, where's? Whoa, whoa, yeah, definitely. Well, hmm. I mean, I guess it's a hive world. I guess it makes sense for them to migrate to hive worlds. Not that that's what I want, but I can't blame them. Um, right. So this is we'll, we'll we'll leave pops here. That's kind of a flex flex world. Um, okay, so we're seeing a lot of people wanting to migrate to new pran. That's not really what we want. Here we still have a little room to grow, so we'll leave some pops. Here we have... Well, here we're, we're still growing Unity Production. Um, oh, again, we have a ton of amenities from... Oh yeah, because Synapse Drones give amenities now. Nice. Um, but yeah, we can also like squeeze the maintenance turns out and then they'll end up uh, working those jobs. Yeah, also thinking, okay, so we, we need to do something on a new friend so it doesn't end up with like all of our pops. I mean, or we just do a passive manual resettlement. So where's Nupran? Why is everyone want to move here? Okay, right, because they have a ton of open maintenance turn jobs. Yeah, so so I think with just the, the maintenance drones we've squeezed out of our uh, maybe undermanaged. Here's another 20, right? Um, but again, here, this is uh, industry. We can kind of... We'll, we'll want to be growing there some. Um, yeah, 35. Yeah, okay. So we, we have a, just a ton of... Uh, 
we, we, we could easily fill our this first science ring segment with just pops that we are squeezing out of of, of these uh, habs and we'll probably want to start doing the second one as well um, maybe we uh, just start that now and the gas will be expensive but that's okay Surprisingly, I have jobs for all these. Like they're not, they're not red unemployment. Uh, all the, <laughs> the negotiations coming in. Okay, so custodians. Um, Council yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Let's just do some manual resettlement from new prints specifically. Keeps moving around. Are we, uh... that's, that's a good start. Full badan. Okay, that's the mega shipyard one. Cool. Um, so next, I think we want to do uh, Galactic Defense Force, so we can start building that up, uh, and then we'll, I mean that or uh, term limit, right, but, um, some support, that's nice. Oh god. Whoa, whoa, somehow we're getting four pops on new planets now? That's interesting. I thought, I, like, I expected to get one from uh, expansion and one from the yut, but I don't know where the third, uh, the fourth one's coming from. Uh, okay, so all the usual stuff. Um, clone bats. Oh, traps. If we can get them. Um, And then we'll, we'll reorder them a little bit. We don't really want clone vets first. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that order. I'm wondering if we should just build ancient refineries everywhere. I don't think that'd be a crazy thing to do. Because they're inexpensive, and they're good. The refinery bonus designation isn't bad, but I don't know if it's worth, like, going to the trouble of concentrating stuff for. Just the one? Okay. We could start, um, we could start turning all of these into Hive Worlds as well for settlement. I don't know, it's getting a little late in the game to be, like, settling more stuff, but, um, we have the energy. We're still running the, the gas edict, so, nope, nope, wrong button. Interesting, interesting modifier. 
not worth, uh... Technology conceived. We, this is and this is just the start, right? We have plenty of pops there left that we still want to pull out. Um, yeah, we can we can just also generate more unity. Also good. another um, hive segment here? I'm not sure. Okay, so the Habinti continue to bully the machines. So, uh, what's this? It's probably like Ghost Fleet. But... Whoa! Minor art that's a lot of minor artifacts, but I mean we're full, so Council agenda. Ready. I guess that could have been like a bunch of research. The others speak. The others speak. Okay, yeah, so after invest vessel stuff is still fine. We're holding that ascension perk. We could uh, we could starbase some more. We've got seventy points of fleet cap left. Okay, we're er, of uh, naval cap, but we're getting fleet increase, a uh, fleet fleet size increase. So we'll throw some more ships onto these with that uh, naval cap. The others reach out to make contact with our mind. Ring segment. Oh, is this our fourth ring segment? Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize we hadn't finished it yet. Um, I was thinking, maybe we convert the artillery battleships uh, to Archimeters and Cloud Lightning. And then we just focus on energy weapons and completely ignore kinetics. Um, and shields are kind of weak right now. What is it? It's, it's um, seven damage per second. 40 damage per second. That's kind of a lot more damage. How does it compare on the X slot? 116, 83. Okay, so that's a much smaller drop in damage from Tachyon Lances to Archimeters than Kinetic Artillery to Cloud Lightning. That's not very much damage at all. Okay, we'll leave it be. It's fine. stuff. Not quite done yet. Getting, getting there, though. Can't 
migrate yet. Colony to new. Our construction is complete. Okay, as you DF, uh, and and then we'll do we'll do turn limit. Um. We sense space born life. Okay, there's fleet command limit. Um, hmm. Leader lifespan is tempting. Strike craft is be, would be good. Nano missiles are okay, but we're not really gonna use them. Um, star bases. Almost missed them. Do I have a... What's in Pythem? Like, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, Transit Hub. Um, right, that's the uh, the Ag world. Um, Transit Hub might be okay. Yeah, because at this point we're mostly using to generate pops, right? So, that's okay. And this one's an Aranus. Uh, yeah, absolutely we can Transit Hub there. For now. Because the, 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 our second two segments are, are going to be sending uh, pops to the pr first two as they figure. Full on energy. Oh, a bunch of... Um... Full on alloys, right? So we have GDF, so we can uh, okay, and and fleet size increase. Um, so we can fit one more battleship in each of these fleets. Uh, I'm not really sure what a good ratio of artillery to carriers is anymore. Um, yeah, with that one, it feels a little silly to even bother adding artillery beyond just the Titan. And then the uh, GDF. Okay, so it's 2350, so endgame has actually started. Um, how do I... Oh, right, okay, it hasn't passed yet. That's a good reason to not be able to make it. Make ships for it. Yeah, not that we'll stay empty for long. Our gas income is dropping precipitously. Maybe we do start uh, just throwing ancient refineries around on some of these hive worlds. I mean, they don't have the pops yet. Well, that's maintenance drones they don't need. Those could be refining. If we have the, I, I think we have the artifacts, right? Like we did just spend them all on the, okay. We, we can build a couple of refineries. <laughs> um, can you buy artifacts? No, oh, okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Um, Agenda ready. That's one problem with uh, systems that have too much stuff in it, right? So we've got like a planet and a station uh, and, and a gateway, and we don't get the mega structure back in here anymore. It's very annoying. Um, can you build like colossi and stuff yet? Maybe not. Interesting. Um. I 
This is, again, a very, uh, shield-heavy. Four and five, five and four. Balanced, balanced. <laughs> yeah, we might... Oh, okay, right, you can't put, uh, afterburners on the Juggernaut, which is pretty annoying. Um... Hmm. I mean, hopefully it never gets into combat. Is where we really like. Like, I just want to use it as a shipyard. Um, the bombardment thing is okay too, and the hyperdrive thing. Um, and then our Colossus is uh, not much to choose there. But I guess we can't build them out of the shipyard yet. And we could free up a uh, slot on our capital shipyard for uh, colossal assembly, I guess. It's gonna take so long though. Like by the time it finishes, the mega shipyard will be ready to do it. I think. They're suspiciously inexpensive. Psychological infertility is minus a thousand. What? That's that's amazing. That's crazy. I mean, if if I were like actually, if I cared about energy. Um, Technology conceived. Rampart's pretty good, I think. Naval Quest would be okay. Um, Unity would be okay. So I think we picked up another Insight tech, which... Uh, oh, the Cloaking one. That's okay. The Yet would be okay. Yeah, with lots, lots of okay options here. Um, yeah, it's quick. And let's go like squeeze some more pops out if we can. Okay. Um, I think we still had a bunch... Somebody just had six maintenance turns. I saw it. Okay, that's the ring roll. Technology conceived. Technology conceived. Okay, time to go rebuy a Scalarium Hypothesis. I wonder if I get Scalarium Hypothesis with two Scalaria, if I get, like, the stack. Um, will I get just an absolute ton of... Okay, so we're, we're down below 1k minerals. Um... So you guys don't need energy very much. It's funny that you do need food that much. Yeah, you can have some allies. That's fine. And then as far as strategics... Okay, our, 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 our caps on these are huge. Um, but we produce a lot more moats and crystals than we use, so we can throw in some of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Let's uh, let's try it with the other one. There's probably like diminishing returns on uh Oh yeah, we transfer leaders. 
7 out of 10, scientist. 107, 105 years old though, he'll probably die pretty soon here. Resilient, hive conduit efficiency. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff on one leader. Huh. Um. Okay, so and our, our food income is dropping as well. Um, if we were to make a uh, a hive mining world, where would it be? Oh, and we could do um. We could do orbital rings as well to boost these. Maybe we don't do another clone vats if we're running this close to the wire on food. Um. <laughs> that's that's the only thing we got is archaeological site. Um, we have a size eleven, size seventeen, size seventeen, and size fifteen. Okay, so none of these are going to be like amazing uh, mining worlds, but any one of them will be able to put out like a f decent amount of uh, minerals. You you guys are building up. Uh, maintenance drones. Okay, this is the other 17. I don't really have plans for this one, so I'm okay squeezing pops out of it. I will leave two, because they'll do the, um... Well, they'll, they'll do the thing that, uh... The sensorium site when it upgrades. Oh, yeah, the premature Senate conclusion. Um, okay. Got the influence. Why not? And we now have another mega structure slot as well because the century array finished. Um, so if we did want to build uh, another ring world frame here, we could do that. Is there other stuff we should be building with that mega structure slot? Interstellar assembly. Now nah, we have all the diplo we need. Yeah, we can build another ring world. And then the GDF. Uh, there used to be a, a bug where like GDF and Federation fleet builders would crash the game. So I'm like paranoid about them now. No, we don't want Autopest. Can I build? Can the GDF build juggernauts? Interesting. Um. It's really annoying that you can't just, like, copy it over from your existing setup. Small slots. Small. Oh, somebody else has orbital trash disperser. It's 
really, it, it frustrates me that you can only get that tech from the rackets, right? It's like, it's such a simple thing, and orbital bombardment bonuses are so hard to come by. Um, it's just... Oh, I should... It can be hard to tell them apart in the, uh, like, fleet build menu. I don't think we really want... Infused plating. And then we almost forgot about the uh enemy ship fire rate could be pretty good. Okay. Oop. That art would be a uh, battleship artillery, but this is tight. Okay, fleet manager, um, create new, oh god, all the GDF stuff get mixed in, uh, GDF battleship, GDF titan, we get like 400 supply of GDF stuff, what would that, 26 times 8 is like 400, um, but there's no fleet cap? If it'll let me build it, I'll build it. This is, uh, I, this is annoying, though, that it doesn't compute that right. But, uh, yeah. Go, go. Mega Shipyard. That was a weird audio glitch. Technology conceived. Okay, of this lot, we can just start clearing out our Chaotic stuff. They don't have a... Technology. Okay, it's just energy upkeep, it's not um. I was worried for a second it might be a mind artifacts upkeep. Okay, I think this is the unbidden, right? Um, let me just pick a mining world first. <laughs> we wanted one of these like size 17 hive worlds, I think, because this is dropping precipitously. I mean, it'll we'll be it'll be fine. Maybe we should figure out where the unbidden are before we. We send space born life. Council agenda ready. Commit to a um. Now can I build a, uh, build colossal stuff out of you? Whoa, it just printed that GDF fleet. Okay, here we go. So they're in our vassal, which is predictable given how many vassals we have. Um, yes, it is. It is my, my custodial duty. Our situation log is updated. Yes, hello. I'm sure you will be delicious. Okay, so they're, um, they're right next to a gateway. That's about 500k? That's bigger than I expected. I thought they were like 65k fleets. Hmm. Well. Uh, 
Uh, maybe we let them spread out a little bit and then engage them. But we can at least get, like, here. And then... The Habinti might slow them down a little bit. I'm surprised they're that big. That's a little concerning. Is this, a, like, a, an actual, like, useful... No. 5k. <laughs> I was hoping it would be, like, a bastion or something, but no. Um... Do the Unbidden have shield hardening now? I forget. I mean, I guess we'll see. Yeah, these are, again, kind of crap. Um, let's just get them out of the way. Technology conceived. I'm sure our vassals will be delighted to hear that we have completed the mega art installation. Uh, on the upside, the arrival of the Unbidden ha now means that everyone will vote to keep us as uh, custodian, so that's cool. Um, How is he so much faster? That's weird. Technology conceived. We might actually want some shields. I mean, we have some shields. It'll be fine. We should be building more uh, anchorages. That already is one. Right, so uh, this this size 17 will make an adequate mining world. I mean, we, it already is designated a mining world. We just need to designate all the other ones as not mining worlds. Um, yeah, all right, that's that's okay. We call it a refining world. Um, oh yeah, and moving our fleet off did did shift our, our energy balance a little bit. Yeah, I just just making it easier to think about. Okay. Technology conceived. What? Okay, so we came in through the relay on the I other side of the... Engaged. That can't be right. We've got like 500k here. <laughs> the, <laughs> the asteroid. We're we're fighting the abidden, and then these these poor these poor pre FTLs. Um, you know, but like, yeah, we'll we'll send the Galactic Defense Force to defend them. Oh, it's almost in jump threat range. Um, we can uh, go over here, and then like jump there to stop the it, it's just uh, I, I don't know it's it's just funny okay so yeah I, I don't think that balance of power is very okay they did get out with a lot um, uh, disintegrators what is, is this an... Okay, it's an unbidden starbase, not an unbidden habitat. That would be pretty spooky. 
I don't think Unbidden can detect cloaking, right? Um, fetch me my worst scientist. Yeah, that's a perfect scientist to cloak up and go research projects. They're spawning stuff in pretty rapidly. Oh, they're a progenitor hive. I had no idea. So we have like 750, five fleets each at 150. They have uh, like 350 and 270, so like 650. It'd be messy. Um, how, how did the, the damage stuff go? So basically our range, we, we had a big range advantage. Um, and yeah, we didn't even get within fighter range before they bailed out on that fight. It was all just artillery. Um, hmm. I guess we can mark one of these areas as like take point and have all of our vassals like stack up on them as well. Okay, they're going for it. We'll see how this goes. Okay, yeah, there's there's vessel allies coming in. Okay, so we lost a little bit, but really not much. Um, they didn't lose that much either, really, but we can get on top of their stuff. So. Should be pretty quick. Hostile swarm engaged. So this one's almost fully. Well, we, yeah, we should stop uh, bringing in more maintenance drones here. We gotta still gotta take care of that asteroid. I feel like this is kind of how fighting the Ambidden usually goes. Like, usually I just have enough stuff. Crushing. Okay. What? What's, what's the resource? Are you going to tell me? Is it like some fancy Unbidden Victory resource? Yeah, so some more losses here. We might not replace those cruisers. We might just replace them with battleships. I'm surprised. I didn't realize we still had cruisers around. Um, ah, and that, that means that the vote will turn against us now. We should have left them. We're not capitalizing on crises for a political gain the way we should. Some... Uh, Some politicians we are. Okay, but we got the relic, so that's cool. I'm 
so we get some rebels against the Gandlerev. Um, right. What is the, the thing you can do? The, uh, the warlock. Sublight speed, weapons range. Nice. Those are both great for big, like, slow battleship fleets full of artillery. That's delightful. Um, and then the actives. Jump drive range, jump drive cooldown, quantum ca Oh, we haven't built a quantum catapult yet. That could be fun. Um... But yeah, all right, jump drive stuff. Cool. That that's uh, that's fine. I, I like that. Um, and the ship upkeep. Okay, so. Hmm. Our, our relic activation options. I'm surprised the GDF fleet is that anemic for like 26 battleships. One to only 121. That's that is like. Okay, that's only 200 supply. Um, not 400, because doing math while you're trying to play games is hard. Um, do I still have unemployment? Let me make two more gas refiners. <laughs> um, we have assimilated Oh, there's still still some remnants around. We can clean those up. Hostile swarm engaged. No shipyard available to come. Don't give me that. There are shipyards available. Okay. It's a lot of unity. And there goes our... Well, maybe we'll still get custodian support. We'll see. <laughs> Clean up the pirates over here. Um, you know, yeah, you can use the XP, right? Everybody else, uh, that was not not well managed. Everybody else go home. This is a big system. I don't know if this is the best place to like keep our uh, our fleets such that we can get to a gateway in a hurry. That one's not too big. How about the, uh, the other one? That one's also not too big. Um, yeah, we can send him here. Hmm, interesting. Ho oh, <laughs> I don't usually play long enough games. Um, okay, uh, big bubbles. Very big. <laughs> It was over the, like, bigger than a a star fortress. Much bigger. Not stronger, but bigger. No survivors, you say. To shreds, you say.
We're not really making history anymore as we build ring worlds. That's just kind of what we do now. Okay, we got some repairs. Technology conceived. So at this point, at this point, we have the score. Um, how much of this is from vassals? Subject empire is forty thousand. So even if we lost all of our vassals. Um, minus, like, the hit that would do to our economy, uh, we would still be ahead of the Fallen Empire. So at this point, the game is ours to lose. We just have to, like, hold on to it and not throw it away. Um, if the Prethren are actually one and a half times as strong as those Unbidden were, we might be in for some trouble. Um, well, I mean, the Prethren aren't so bad, because they spread out, right? But, uh... Yeah, again, it's it's the contingency I'm mostly worried about. Um, we do have some time, though. Uh, and, and we could be stuffing these slots with strongholds, right? We, we could be uh, taking these ring worlds and uh, making them also strongholds and getting a bunch of fleet cap out of them. And all the high worlds, we have all the building slots, right? So um, I think we... Uh, you know, I also don't know. So I, f I think the Prethren and the Contingency can't happen until 2400 in this setup. With this set of like game start parameters. So we have a little bit of time now. Uh, and at this point, the we're more likely to um, have Fallen Empire problems before we have second and third crisis problems. But... Um, yeah, we will we will want to find more places to show fortresses into. Cause like the uh the, the fortress world designation I mean we're not even using it on, on Nupron, but uh it just doesn't it it speeds up building fortresses and it makes them more resistant to invasion. But it doesn't help them help with our actual purpose for fortress worlds, which is naval cap. So, so there really isn't a whole lot of point doing actual, like, dedicated fortress worlds as opposed to just shoving fortresses in wherever we have slots. They'll still have amenities, right? Here we could be swapping uh, habitation districts for uh, for f industrial districts and using these building slots for housing. So maybe not there. Yeah, here is just perfect. We can shut some strongholds in there. This one again, I kind of want flexibility on. This one is just wildly underutilized make a, an adequate fortress habitat. Sure. Hive World Foundry. Yeah, again, here we could be trading off districts for building slots. Um, that one... Hold on, go back. Uh, do I want that? This is a refinery and we have a lab here. This one's a mess. Yeah, we could we could be doing more refining better here if we got rid of some of the stuff. Um, and, and it's gonna be gas. I mean, we are at least working the foundry jobs, so those are kind of okay, I guess. Not best. Ah, oh, crap. And then we lost our place in the, uh... Well, um... The big list of planets. Okay. We 
But yeah, you know, the, these habitats out in the second sector that we don't really have plans for, we can fortresses. Well, I guess we don't want to build it right now because we want to switch those pops up into um, Unity guys. But they could be fortresses. We could also just shove labs in here. We could just put strong, like a stronghold per planet. I mean, not for refining, but um. okay. All right. So it's also it's it's been about an hour. Um, we got a you know a, a nice concrete thing done dealing with the unbidden. Uh, it, it looks like it didn't really cause too much disruption of the the big geopolitical picture. Uh, our, our we were able to project power exactly where we wanted it. We had all of our fleets in one spot. Um, and the AI was overconfident, I guess, in, uh, I guess it's weird. It's weird how close the fleet powers were for how one-sided the fights were. And it wasn't like I was really counter I mean, I guess what we're doing does kind of ignore shield. So it was kind of a counter build. Um, meh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're, we're at 12k science. That's up quite a bit. Uh, our alloy output is around 2k. Um, our food situation, yeah, our, our raw resource situation is getting a little bit tighter, but not not bad. We could use one of those other hive worlds for food uh, to, to keep feeding. Like, that, that, was, that was an interesting point, that there was a point where I went, I'm not going to build them with a clone vat because I don't have enough food to, like, to, to stay positive. Um, that's probably a good... When that happens, that's a good sign that I should build more food. Um, where's our other... Uh... Yeah, this guy. Congrats. You're farmers now. Because we filled out uh, this one, right? Yeah, I mean... Uh, we don't have the moat harvesting traps. We should be... Like, yeah, we could turn Hive Districts into, um, that's, how much housing do they give? 14. That's exactly as much as we have, so that would leave us no room for growth. Yeah, that, uh, we, we could, but I don't, I don't like it. We wouldn't be able to use these building slots very well without, uh, leaving that up, so. Yeah, I think it's time to start another, another food spot. Or, I mean, we could, we could Ringworld food. Um, but that would cost moats. Yeah, that seems silly to, like... Oh, 200 food though. That's a lot. Uh, per per ag district. Um, yeah, it seems silly to spend moats on concentrated food production when we can get lots of food districts from hive worlds without doing that. Uh, and uh, you know, that that's less true for research and then for industry. Um, yeah, so, so research segments are very gas efficient relative to upgraded labs in terms of jobs per gas. Uh, industry, these are not as efficient in terms of moats, but they are dense. Um, and you do get the uh, the third level of base output production. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it is dimensional horror over here. That gap in the silicoids that I had remarked on. What is this? Whoa! I've never seen this before. We might have to, uh... Get out there with the jump drive and see what they're about. Um... 
Oh yeah, and our, our scientist here. Right, yeah. Probably drop the cloak. Are these all just uh, disintegrators? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if matter disintegrators are any good. I forget how they work. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, I think we're making good progress, especially the, the tech growth from the ring worlds is, should let us put up a bunch of repeatables. And even if our naval cap, and we're, we're approaching being able to, to field another uh, 200 fleet, and we still have another 170-ish of GDF supply that we could use, so. Then we could expand it. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll be okay for another fifty years or so. We'll see how the next crisis goes. But thank you for watching.